Hello, hello. Welcome back, and thank you for joining. This video is going to cover the log for shell vulnerability, the zero-day remote code execution exploit that's in the Java logging library, log for J2. This video is going to show you how easy it is to get re remote code execution on a server. And so we're going to walk through step by step to really show you how easy this can be. So first things first, we're going to get a Docker up and running that is vulnerable to the log4 shell vulnerability. So let's run this and I will post everything in the comments section so you could run it through as well get the step-by-step -step instructions but let's just go over it real quick all right pseudo password for Kali all right we're getting this spring boot app up and running now let's move to our we're going to we have in this a um, text file that basically is going to uh, we're going to use a wget command through the vulnerability to download a its exploit.txt but it can be representative of basically any bad file and this is what crypto miners and everyone else is doing so we this is basically our uh, control server that we want and so we're going to be making a call back to this because I have an exploit.txt file sitting here and uh, we're going to get the LDAP server up and running as well on port 8888 and so here we go we got the LDAP server we got the HTTP server uh, running so the next thing that we need to do is we're going to be curling and this here is the main uh, code right here. So this is equivalent to basically the wget to my private server that I have and getting the exploit and downloading it. And so uh, let's run that. And as we'll go back here, we have the hello world there. That's nice. Uh, and we got the and here's what the command was that we actually ran remote code execution this log for shale so now if we go and uh, take a look at our vulnerable app uh, docker and this is our second vulnerable app to ls Got our exploit.txt right there. And so, as we can see, how easy it is to step by step through. We just got a vulnerable uh, server up and running, a server or an app. We then used our LDAP server. We then curled with a base64 code to get the exploit.txt file right here. So that base uh, 64 right in here is equivalent to this. So this shows you how easy it is to get remote code execution on using the log4 shell. So make sure to like and subscribe as we're gonna be putting out more videos on malware analysis. But in this one, this just shows how easy it is to exploit this zero day. Thank you.